BPI group, this is Eric. Who is this? Hey, how you doing? Your name popped up in the conversation I had last week. So it's an eight hour training or eight hour seminar? It's a seminar, but you're marketing as a training program. So let me get this straight. It's an eight hour introduction course to executive protection and you're gearing it towards people who are working in the industry now that have no formal training. So they come to your course, is that correct? And in eight hours, what, do you, what are you teaching them? So in the first half of the day, you're gonna go over protective advance work. Oh, oh, and threat assessments, wow, wow. What about the second half? Oh, you're doing formation in the second half? Wow, all in eight hours. You're about to revolutionize the industry. You're gonna make everybody change their programs based off of what you're doing. Not, oh, so the seats are $25? Oh, and they're going fast. And you want me to get the word out? Okay, all right. Not. So apparently guys like Chuck Vance, Mark Fair, Elijah Shaw, and even myself have gotten it wrong all these years. The newest craze or craziness are guys who've been in the industry for all of five minutes now teaching executive protection in eight hours. Yeah, you heard it, eight hours. For those of us who know better, they're calling it a seminar. But those who they're marketing to, they're calling it a training. Follow me so far? You can call it whatever you want. I call it. Security High Intensity Training, S-H-I-T. Because the only thing you're doing is taking guys who are already working in the industry illegally with no formal training, and you're sending them back out into the industry to further export the industry. That's what I call it. So here's the editorial to this broadcast. For those of you frauds out there that continue to work untrained and unlicensed and expect you can spend a measly $25 for an 8-hour executive protection course and get all of a sudden you become this high-speed operator, spend five minutes with me for free at Starbucks, and I'll convince you that you have a better chance of being a successful tow truck driver. What? I mean... There's nothing wrong with being a tow truck driver. Some of my best friends are tow truck drivers. <laughs> no, they're not. My point is this. Get out of here. Whew. On a much more lighter side of industry news, I was led to a blog called The Altucher Confidential, written by James Altucher. And apparently Mr. Altucher was working for HBO where he would go out on Tuesday nights at 3 a.m. in New York City and interview prostitutes, criminals, and ask what they were doing out in the street. Doing the interview, he would take pictures of them. It got so hairy at times that he was throwing, bottles were thrown at him and he was chased up and down the street. HBO was so concerned about Mr. Altucher's safety that they hired a bodyguard to accompany him throughout the streets of New York City. So on one particular night, Mr. Altucher, his crew, and his HBO bodyguard put on their undercover microphones and went to a bar that was uh, populated by transvestite prostitutes and transvestites. Don't get mad at me, those are his words. So our tutor says he sees a gentleman in who appears to be normal. Again, those are not my words, those are his. He approaches the gentleman who tells, who tells our tutor that he's uh, married and has kids and he comes there on Tuesday nights to, uh, let's say, get some action. Well, the manager of the bar recognizes that they're doing an interview, calls the bouncer and chases our tutor and his crew out of the bar. Our tutor said that the bouncer chased them up the street and the fastest one amongst them was the HBO bodyguard, who was three blocks ahead of them within seconds. The HBO bodyguard. And according to our tutor, they never used them again. <laughs> Go figure. In other industry news, TMZ posted a video titled, Priscilla Presley Bodyguard Takes Down Autograph Seeker. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because, number one, when you look at the video, and I'm going to post the, the video link below. I'm not going to spend too much time cutting and pasting in this uh, broadcast. When you look at the video, number one, you can tell that they are event security at Pantages Theater in Hollywood. Apparently, Miss Presley was coming out of the uh, theater, and she stopped to sign autographs to some autograph seekers. One gentleman was a little bit overzealous. He got into a bickering conversation with the security guards and next thing you know one guy is taking this guy down to the ground well apparently the autograph seeker had just had knee surgery and you can see a full leg brace on his leg and they take him down down to the ground when priscilla presley appears to be concerned about the gentleman's well-being one of the other bodyguards who's standing behind her kind of shields her from seeing what's going on he's fine man he's fine he's fine there's nothing to see nothing to see he's fine if you have thin skin this is not the industry for you. <laughs> uh, 
you have to deal with overzealous fans, overzealous shareholders on the corporate side. The issue is, if you look at the video, and I, I have to admit, the video isn't that clear as to what prompted the security guard for taking this guy, first of all, swinging at the guy and then taking him down to the ground, other than the guy being mouthy and overzealous trying to get an autograph. But at the end of the day, you have to deal with that. And if you can't deal with it, <laughs> you need to get out of here. The other thing is, if you notice the pattern here, TMZ will post anything that has to do with security and label it as bodyguard. Now, I'm sure that this video was sold to TMZ. I'm not sure about that. But the bottom line is, it's news to them. And whatever's news to them is normally going to be uh, derogatory towards us. So be mindful of those cameras that are out there and be mindful of your sensitivities. Because if you're sensitive, you know, you need to go home. Hey, this is Noah Kona here, and you have just watched my dad, Eric Kona, here on BPI Security, This Week in Protection. Don't tell my dad I put on these sunglasses inside.